Hello everyone, today in this video we will be discussing the 9th lab program which is locally weighted uh, regression algorithm. Okay, so what do you mean by locally weighted regression algorithm is you will be having some points. Okay, so I will be showing the output first. These are the uh, points available with us. Okay, and we are fitting a uh, line in it. Okay, like this is the red line, right? This is the line which we are fitting here and uh, to fit this uh, given graph okay that we are trying to do here that is what is called local, uh, linear regression you will be having a shape here and you are trying to fit a line in it okay that's all and the code is only this much i'll be telling you what this code means and how do you remember this code by using a simple trick okay so before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and support help me make more videos like this so let's get started now see okay that was the about the program now let's have a look at what it is see here uh, to remember this uh, program first what you have to remember is there is a egg pan okay the frying pan and you have put egg in it now this egg will be frying okay so um like before you put this egg on this pan uh, what uh, is the first step you'll be doing you'll be making the pan ready you will be applying oil to the pan and then you will be putting the egg in it right that's the first three steps you'll be doing so cleaning the pan is the first step you're doing okay now uh, coming back to the program what is our main task our main task is see our main task is to um draw this red line right before that drawing the red line we need this orange kind of lines right so first we'll be making our diagram which uh, shows where we have to plot the line okay so for that uh, first you import these libraries import numpy as np import matplotlib.pyplot as plt numpy will handle the array things and matplotlib will be handling the um visualization or the graphical representation things okay so the first step what you have to remember is make the egg pan ready make the egg pan ready okay what do you mean by egg pan egg pan means in this graph you have how many axis x axis you have and y axis we have okay so x axis what are the values you will be making that ready okay how we are doing that np is the library which we are calling lin space is linear space so that every linear space it will plot one one point and how many from where to where it should point minus five in x axis to five in x axis so minus 5 is here and plus 5 is here from here till here I have to plot the points and those should be 1000 in total okay this whole area should be divided into 1000 points and each point should uh, uh, plot one point now the question is x will point in which uh, y point it should point see to point a point we need to have two values x value and y value x I have defined here now what is y for y we will be using a simple equation which is x square minus 1 absolute value plus 0 0.5 this whatever value it gives for the log that is the y value for that corresponding x okay in that value we will be finding out the log so in this form we will get the log values okay so this is the shape of the graph for x square minus 1 plus 0 0.5 after we have got x and y values, we will be normalizing it. So when we normalize it and uh, take the final x value, we will be ready with the egg pan. Okay. So let's have a look at how our egg pan looks like. Okay. See, I will be just executing this one. So this is our current uh, situation. This is plotted as blue by default and we have this kind of um, drawing uh, with us. Now we have to plot a red line on it. Okay. How do you uh, plot a red line on it that we will be discussing. So to plot a red line, see what you have to remember is. This is the first thing you have cleaned the pan means that uh, preparation part you have done that's the first point second is if you want to plot a red line you will be pl uh, preparing the output okay if when you prepare the output then only you will be able to plot the line right so how do we prepare the output to prepare the output first we will be getting the x and y values right to plot anything you need x and y values so that point by point will be uh, keep on plotting so here is the uh, actual uh, program which is plot lr tau tau is nothing but smoothening curve okay so what we have actually first you have to write this one okay after you have imported libraries first step second step make the pan ready third step come here in function call you will be calling this one plot lr and you will passing a tau value tau value what it will do it will smoothen the curve now let's have a look at how it smoothen the, uh, smoothens the curve if i put the value one here and i click on dot show it will be giving me a like this rough estimation actually red line should go here then come here like this it should go so let's reduce this value to 0 0.1 now let's have a look in 0 0.1 it perfectly classifies this one as it is given 
if i make it more smaller like 0.01 at that time i am getting a uh, very very accurate values right it is taking consideration noise also let's reduce this further and have a look when we reduce this further it will give very bad value it will do over estimation and it will be uh, giving us the wrong value so the perfect value what i found is 0.01 okay this is giving a pretty uh, nice value for this ones like the noise is also considered not that much very slightly it's considered okay so that point we have to find out and pass the tau value so that that much smooth it will be then this one you have uh, plotted this one you have called this one now here what we are doing is we are uh, very how is this graph getting shown graph is getting shown by this line of code plt dot plot domain comma red color is equal to red color is equal to red is uh, giving for color domain is the values in the x axis what are the y x values and red is the y values okay so in uh, this is the array this is also an array okay in these both arrays x and y values are present so zeroth index of x value zeroth index of y value what is the point that will be plotted first then first index second index, third index like that how many indexes are there total 1000 indexes are there why because i have taken here as 1000 right in x axis y axis there will be 1000 values okay <coughs> so we will plot domain and pred now the question is how will we know what is domain how will we know what is pred we will be just uh, plotting the domain and the pred first we need to get what is domain and get what is pred to get domain and pred we are performing these two line of code we will be getting the domain and pred values then we will be substituting here and we will be getting this graph here so uh, we will be scattering this is all, this also line is for scatter only don't worry about this one the main thing lies here domain and pred if we get the domain and pred we will be easily able to plot this graph now how to get the domain domain is very simple np dot lin space linear space minus five to five and number is equal to five hundred. Five hundred divisions will be there for this red line. For the orange line, there were thousand divisions. Okay, make that um, note that point. And uh, the domain is ready. What about pred? Pred is something we have to calculate. For this point, what is the uh, red value? What for this point, what is the red value? And so on for all the points, what is the red value that we will be calculating? So for that, we will be using this one. Local regression is the function which we are using. This is the program about, right? So obviously, we will use local regression. X not comma x comma comma y comma tau for x not in domain domain consists of all x values right domain consists of what all x values from minus 5 to 5 for each of those x value we are uh, finding out what is y value and uh, inserting into this list okay that's what we are doing so we'll call a function called local regression local regression will calculate and give us the y value we'll be uh, plotting this now the question is what is the local regression value for the local regression value we are calling which function local regression then you have to come here these are the parameters getting passed and we are uh, what is our aim our aim is to calculate y value right so to calculate y value this is our y value it's returning this one x naught and uh, beta the at the rate symbol is for the matrix multiplication in python it's called as decorator okay so don't worry about this <coughs> x naught we already have we have to calculate beta to calculate beta we need this one okay what is this uh, equation that i'll explain you this equation is nothing but you have to uh, remember one equation here which is this equation this is the equation you have to remember. If you remember this one easily, you will be able to do x naught and beta. Beta is nothing but x w into x, x w into y. Repeat with me x w into x into x w into y. Now the question is what is x w? x and y we have. x w is nothing but x transformation into w. Now what is w? w is this formula e power minus x minus x naught whole square by 2 tau square. It might look difficult. If you write two times, it will be very simple for you. Okay. How to calculate this? See, first we have to get beta. To get beta, this equation. This equation x naught x w is there. To get x w, we need w. For w, we have this one. This one is getting called in radial kernel. Okay. There's a function called as radial kernel that we are calling here. See, this is the um, beta value x w into x into x w into y. Okay, the last line. Then what is XW? XW is X transformation into radial kernel. Radial kernel is another function which is defined here, which will calculate this one e power X minus X naught whole square divided by minus 2 tau whole square. Okay, by using this, we'll get this value, which will be substituting and finding out X, uh, XW value, and that will be substituting and finding out beta value. By beta value, we'll get the Y value. That will substitute here and get the final answer. Okay, that's all for this video. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.